Hey guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, today we're doing something a little different. I'm getting out of the heat and I am in my apartment and I'm gonna do a little reviewing of some FPV simulators. The ones that we're gonna look at are Velocidrone, Liftoff, Uncrashed, and Trip FPV. Um, so a couple new ones, a couple older ones, and uh, we'll just see how they look. So the uh, first game we're gonna review is Velocidrone. Velocidrone is like really good for physics, but graphics, not so much. A lot of people swear by Velocidrone just because the physics are so good. As you can see, it looks like an N64 game. I don't know, let's give it a shot, man, because it's been a long time since I've actually played this. Uh, this is the one I started on. I don't know, let's see. Let's see how it is. All right, putting the headphones on. Oh yeah, nothing like old school techno. All right, I'm gonna fly the little bastard. It's a good freestyle quad. Cargo. Let's fire it up, let's see what it's like. All right. Let's get this cursor out of there. It's gonna drive me nuts. All right. Yeah. You know, guys, my first impression is the physics are legit. This does feel like a real FPV drone. I got my rates dialed in and everything, so. Oh. All right. Pop off that thing. Of a juicy style thing. Oh yeah. That was kind of a sloppy landing. It's weird, what do you, I don't know, FPV pilots, what do you call it when you actually successfully land a trick? Do you have a way of expressing that? So I would just say, oh, I landed it, but that doesn't make a lot of sense, right? You know, the graphics aren't much to look at, but those kind of fade away once you get used to the, uh, I don't know, once you start playing it. It's kind of like whatever. I'd say this definitely does feel like my freestyle, my freestyle quad. Something I can do in the simulators, but I can't do in real life. Do a little trippy spin action. What's up with this crane here? Do a little Matty flip action. Oh wow, that was bad. Let's do a, let's actually a complete one. Can do it. Yeah. Ooh, can I dive in there? Should I dive in there? Ooh. Wow, it's dark in there, I couldn't see anything. Yeah, man, one thing that's really fun about flying the sim is you can crash and you don't have to worry about exploding GoPro and you don't have to worry about exploding a drone. So, I mean, this is why we get our practice in the sim here. My initial impressions are, I've been sleeping on this game. This would be a really good one if you got an underpowered PC or maybe a laptop and you're on the go and you want to get some flight time in. Boom. Why not? Oh. Yeah. Solid. The next one we're going to check out is a new one. It's actually called Trip FPV. It looks pretty good. I played it a little bit. In my opinion, the physics aren't quite there, but let's give it a shot, man. All right, and we're off. Yeah, feels like my rates. You know, first thing, oh, okay. That's, that was nothing like my quads. Actually, oh, you know what? I'm flying a cinematic one. Let's see here. The thing about Trip FPV is there's different quads you can pick from. Uh, I don't know if you can, looks like you can create custom ones. I'm not gonna do that right now. Pretty smooth props, those are really, is that the pitch? Three, holy crap, all right, well, let's give it a shot. All right. Oh, okay. 
I usually go a little steeper than three inch. Uh, it feels all right. Yeah, this feels okay. Like a real life quad is gonna fly a lot different than any other quad. You know, like I have several different quads and they all fly different. Uh, the Sims all fly different. So, I don't know, take it with a grain of salt when people say, oh, the physics suck on this or they suck on that. It's like, eh. Whoa, one thing I'm noticing though is the throttle is way different than I'm used to. Like I could have totally ca uh, caught myself and Velocidrone with that. I gotta really hammer on the throttle to catch myself. The physics do feel weird on this game to me. You know, people are saying the physics are really funky. Uh, it almost feels like a bad tune to me. Um, yeah, there's like a lot of, see, yeah, the throttle's really weird. I mean, here, maybe, maybe I'll just play it a little bit and maybe I'll get used to it. I mean, it's like getting used to a new quad, right? Whoa, okay. I mean, you guys saw me flying in Velocidrome. <laughs> this is pretty bad. All right. I mean, one thing I will say though, is this, this game, especially compared to Velocidrome is gorgeous. Um, you know, look at those mountains. Trees look awesome. I mean, it's gorgeous. Oop, that would have been a crash in real life. Sound design's pretty cool. I like when you fly by stuff, you get like a whoosh sound. Yeah. Little Rubik's Cube action. If you can't tell, that's a trick I'm like practicing really hardcore right now. Which is why I'm like doing it so often. Let's go off this jump. Oh yeah. Trip FPV has different scenarios you can enable. So if I hit M, it'll bring up the map. I'm not reading that. And you can enable these different scenarios. Um, bike jumper, motocross. Um, let's enable these bike. I'll, I'll do both of them. I think they're, yeah, they're right next to each other. And let's go to the position. All right, so it automatically brought me to the spot. All right. So this is really awesome if you guys want to like practice chasing. Uh, if you want to get into doing this professionally, I mean, this is a great place to learn how to do it. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but the physics with the bikes is pretty sad. Um, I don't know, man. I don't want to rip on it too hard. This is like a super new, super new game. And I'm glad that people are putting out FPV games, honestly but some of the physics here, man. <laughs> like you can tell it was just like manually animated. Yeah, so when he goes off, the, see that? It goes off the jumps and stuff. It's kind of weird. It's not very realistic, but I can still practice chasing it. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm not great at chasing. You know, one thing I've found that's really hard with chasing is when you fall behind to get caught up, you really gotta, you know, hit the throttle really hard. And by the time you catch up, they slow down and you blast past them. I don't know, maybe I just need to have more practice. Yeah, so final impressions, graphics, really cool, really cool that you can chase. Um, physics, not so great. Worth the buy. Needs some work. All right, guys, the next game in our lineup is Uncrashed, which is another pretty new FPV drone simulator game. Um, this one I've liked, uh, played it a bunch. Let's just get into it right away. Take it off. All right. Uncrashed, just like Trip FPV has uh, chasing scenarios you can do. This one just has a loop of these cars that go around. And uh, I would say the physics on the cars is a lot better than those dirt bikes. With this, it seems like these cars actually have some real physics behind them, or at least they were animated to have real physics. Yeah, this is cool. You can do a little, little chase action. Again, I'm not great at chasing, so I'm doing a lot better in this game. Oh. 
there's a wall there. All right. All right, so I've done some chasing. Let's do a little freestyle, juicy flick. Eh, physics feel okay. Ooh, okay, enough of that. You know, sims are so fun. Yeah, it's a little floaty. You know, maybe there's settings that I could get into to kind of tune the quad a little bit. But it's a simulator. I don't really want to have to tune a quad, man. <laughs> like, I feel like it should just be tuned. Some of them will start you back at the starting point when you crash. I notice on crash doesn't, so. I like that, I don't really want to start over. Like, just make the make the quads invincible, you know? That's another thing. In real life, I destroy real quads. I don't need to do that in the game. You know what? One thing I didn't do in the other games, but I'll do in this one, is uh, let's check out a different level. Let's try this high city one, because it looks very video game-like. Okay, <laughs> yeah, here we go. Flying cars and everything, nice. Oh, okay. Guess I'm out of bounds there. Where are the bounds? I don't I don't know exactly how to know. Whoa. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh uncrash if you want to start a race. You just start it. We'll try one. I'm not a racer, so don't expect anything amazing out of me here. Whoa. Yeah, this game's okay. Zipping through stuff. Hey, look at that. All right, well, final impressions with Uncrashed. Graphics are really cool. Um, looks pretty good. It's up there with Trip. I think Trip might look a little better. Uh, physics, yeah, they're okay. The quad that I was flying was a little floaty. Maybe you can tune it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the, the physics aren't great. Uh, I think Velocid Drone still takes the win for that. So the next one in our lineup is my personal favorite, Liftoff, which is the one that I play the most. So let's just get into it. All right. Now one thing you'll notice is the graphics on this one, you know, they're not as good as Trip or Uncrashed, but they're pretty tolerable. I would say they're definitely better than they're definitely better than Velocidrone. Um, the physics is really close to Velocidrone. I'd say maybe Velocidrone wins the physics overall, but this one's physics are really good. Another trick I don't do in real life, but practicing. Oh yeah, there's these Easter eggs you can find. Every month, Liftoff has different Easter eggs you can get. Uh, I think in Easter, it's literally Easter eggs. Um, this month, I don't know what this is. I think it's the company that makes the game. Yeah, it's the L Lugus, Lugus, Lugus Fest, I don't know. This would be insane in real life. Nope. <laughs> I can't even get in the sim. I feel like I can do one clean one. Let's do it. Yeah. Nice. You know, it'd be really cool if I could uh, do a power loop and then go into a trippy spin. Let's see if I can pull it off. Uh, probably not, okay. Oh, kinda, not really. Uh, oh man, can you tell I'm having a really fun time? <laughs> okay, so what I gotta do is I gotta come out of the tunnel do a power loop, continue the power loop all the way past the obstacle and then go around it like I'm orbiting it. Yeah. Yep, if I could do that in real life. Yes. Wouldn't that be sick? All right. Yeah, so you guys can probably tell I play this one a lot. Um, I'm definitely more used to this one's physics, 
graphics and the levels. I know where all the stuff is. Uh, let's do another level in this one. There's always, um, I feel like there's one that I absolutely have to do. Those of you that have played this game might know where I'm going with this. Bardwell Yard. Oh man, you can't play this game without doing Bardwell's Yard. Now for those of you that are new to FPV or don't know, um, Bardwell's Yard is referring to Joshua Bardwell's back, well, his house and his yard. I'm Joshua Bardwell and you're gonna learn something today. And what you're gonna learn today is my house, my property is coming to the liftoff flight simulator. Yeah, they mapped his yard and his house and stuff. So all his videos, if you wanna fly his yard, here you go, this is how you do it. Maybe the number one reason to get into liftoff, right? Get to fly around in the man himself's backyard. I gotta say, he's got a nice little fly spot, man. If I lived here, I'd be way better at FPV. Man, I'd be a master at freestyle. Let's uh, see, uh, see what he's up to in his bedroom, shall we? Let's, uh, let's just kind of peek in there. Oh, oh no. Spoiler alert. That would be Bardwell peeking out at us. Sneaky fellow, you. Oops, oh, yeah. oh, he's not gonna like this. Oh man. So obviously I'd probably recommend Liftoff. If you could only do one of these games, I'd probably recommend Liftoff. It's definitely a really good way to practice and a really good pastime as well. See if I can do it. Oh, oh, that was really sloppy. Really cool, man. Well, that is Bardwell's house, so. All right, guys. Well, that's just some of the FPV sims out there. Uh, I left out a couple. There's the DRL one, and also there's a liftoff micro drones one that I didn't get to. Uh, but if you like this format, let me know, and maybe I'll do another one in the future, cover those, and who knows, maybe there's some other ones out there that I don't know about. So. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. And if you like this again, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And to all the new subscribers, I really appreciate it. Really motivates me to keep making these videos because you know, it's a lot of work and it's been fun. But you know, when you see the subscribers and people actually checking it out, it, it really makes it worth it. So appreciate it. All right guys, well, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.